That's Nate. <laughs> so, welcome to the day in Pisgah. We are actually gonna go, uh, we're en route to pedal up to Bennett, do some laps up on there. Uh, my man Nate here loves the skinnies, and I feel like we're gonna have a jump off on the skinny, see who can get a better distance off of this skinny. And we, we've done a bunch of riding together, and he knows, because he's laughing because he knows it's probably something I, that's... I fucking hate skinnies. Yeah. <laughs> But it's gonna be great, and uh, we're gonna get some laps in. Hope you enjoy it, and maybe we'll just ride and get one run in, and then we'll uh, go do some building. Maybe get a time lapse build. Maybe maybe we'll do that. Maybe we change our minds and we play remote control cars instead. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we don't know what's happening or what's coming, and you're gonna have to stick around and watch the rest. So uh, we were talking about like the features. So there's a feature on Bennett where it's where the rock garden stops and then or starts, and then it ends off in like a what? Like it's probably only like three foot rock drop, probably maybe three I, and a half. I, I can't remember. Yeah, I mean you just you're just you're just pinning it. But I always go around it, and I was like, I bet you Nate. He's got so much better um, low speed handling than me that like, I bet you he'll do this drop and I'll have to go around it. I, I just, I don't hate to psych myself out, but I've actually OTB'd on this thing a couple times. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so I just avoid those no now. OTBs. So actually maybe we'll stop and check that out. I mean, we'll both roll right yeah, through it the first time and then we'll look at it and be like, all right, how do we feel about it? And I mean, Nate is a lot like I am, where like you just get out there and you ride as the features hit you and you come. And like sometimes you go for the big ones, sometimes you don't. And I don't hold it against myself when I don't do big features every time I go out. How do you feel? Yeah, I don't. I'd always do it based on just how I'm feeling that day. Like I don't ever. I'm not ever. You know, like oh, I'm gonna hit this or I'm gonna hit that. Like I just do it usually as it comes. So I feel like that is the progression in uh, most of my friends' mountain biking. Is it like? We're definitely at a high level of riding, but it's not every day that we hit some giant feature. Like, if we're gonna hit some giant feature, it's usually we're planning it, or it's super random, or we just got the good vibes. Maybe just the good vibes gotta be there, really, yeah. more than anything. Yeah, gotta be feeling it, for sure. So, um, yeah, so that's my what we do. Let's check it out. You know it, and then... All right, I don't really know it, as you know. You know okay. what I mean? Like. Well, because like I'm just I just I just riding I'm always just riding <laughs> yeah all right the gear seat down Whew. it's riding good today go 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 to the right go oh I mean I said, like, go right, go right, go right, go right. Okay, so, no, no. So this is one of the features. And I hate it, I just put dab again. No, that's, that's easy, I just was like not in the right place. I don't like this turnout, I'm a, I'm a sis. But let's no, just keep. I, yeah, I guess, I don't know, I think you kind of just slap into here. I don't like this one. Right. But this isn't what you're talking about. This one up here, further down is the, uh, the next one is the rock drop. But I've been going around it, like I said in the pre rock video. This is just pedal grab city. I'm just going to walk through this again. Boop, boop, boop. This is my first time riding this bike with this shock. Oh, no excuses. No excuses. <laughs> I don't let Nate make excuses. Nate's a great rider, so actually, anybody that makes equipment excuses. Actually, this shock feels pretty sick so far. Yeah, yeah. The bike's kind of like, it's kind of messing with the handling of the bike. Here. The coil definitely makes it feel a little different. Like, I just, I leaked in the rear travel when I put the shock on. So now it feels like I'm too far over the front end, right? Oh, that's my least favorite yeah, feeling. I gotta, I gotta lengthen the shot report now. Yeah, it's they, riding good. Oh, 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 I'm literally no feet through all of that. That was wild. <laughs> Here's that rock garden. Stay right if you want to roll. Stay right. Oh, my God. He just jumped off the whole front of that fucking thing. <laughs> so that was the sissy line that I took. I believe Nate just jumped off of. 
Me. I just bottomed my fork so hard, dude. So you came off the, the top middle? That's what you're talking about. Look at the walk up there so you can see how big. That's the problem though. Yeah, yeah. It's not this. This is fine. But I went at a little bit of speed. My fork landed here. Back up and show. So this is like flat. Dude, back up to that rock and stand next to that thing. It's only like no. four feet. Yeah. So look, what we just went through, and he just blindly, Nate just dropped this just in the moment into this. Nate, this is what, this is what I mean by you're a really good rider, man. Like, that's a that's pretty big, dude. Just like no, I remember. And like, look at this run up. It's not like he had a great run. I saw it. I kind of remembered it to be honest. Like, I just had forgotten about it. Oh. But yeah, it's obviously it's designed to be like rolled really slow, and you transition here where there's actually a transition. That's instead, good. I landed like front fork, like right here, like. Crushed it though. All right. All right, we'll click back on when we get to the next downhill section. All right, Nate. The skinny's coming up, okay? So you can go. The skinny's right here, bro. Look at me. You are really skinny. Rub these together to start a fire. <laughs> so it's right there. So here, here we are, okay? Trail's here, skinny's here. Big log, easy to get on if you commit yeah. the moment we're going forward. You can roll straight forward to the left and do like a slow drop that you like. Yeah. You can go right at uh -huh. the first split and just drop to flat. Uh -huh. Or you can take the middle line, uh -huh. ride that other branch off, and then uh -huh. jump off the end. Oh, sick. That sounds dope. Uh, I like that. Uh, no, so, yeah, there's all your warning. So this is what our friends do to each other. You get one little piece of information. All right, can we hold your right, 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 right? Oh, 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 is he going for it? Booyah. Woo! -hoo. All right, nice job, Nate. Yeah, bud. All right, now we're right into the fuck. We're right into the Bennett. Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, tire pressure seems pretty good. I'm bouncy on it. Maybe since I haven't been riding, I feel bouncy on the pedals for some reason. Like I'm not where I want to be. Oh shit. <laughs> Nate, you gotta call it out, man. Sorry. You can't. <laughs> I just like, I just it. All right, about to All right. up to the next section. All right, so now we're back at the next downhill section. You know what? I'm bobbing. I think I'm gonna let a little more pressure out of the rear. This is my, I feel like something's a little stiff. You know how your bike always feels like it's a little stiff when you haven't ridden in a minute? Yeah. That's what I'm just talking about, like. How many settings? Tires? Yeah, so I, I started with 30, I think about 25. I'm gonna go down to like 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be three PSI, right? Man, you got some fresh tires, bro. This bike has been amazing. I, uh, yeah, those bikes are just this is a Yeti SP150. I think the Infinity Link works really well. Yeah. The box components have been shipped in like a boss, like no problem. They're, they're TRP pretty, brakes, like. They're pretty dialed. Pretty solid. Um, Hard to hate on a Yeti. It is. It's a race bike. You, we've ridden together a couple of times now, and it's like that's the only gripe. If it's a race bike, it's a race bike. It's it's a little hard to be playful with. All right, a little stretch on. Damn, Nate. Last on the road, and I was dropping Nate, and today he's dropping me like a boss. I mean, he I mean, he's definitely moving. Very agile today. I think I gotta open up the gap. I don't really like that. Riding so close. Uh oh. Throwing uh. pedal strokes. The glass is a little foggy. Excuses, excuses. Four in my toes. I just need to give him a little more gap. That's what it is. I'm watching his tire versus the trail. Bad idea. Yeah, I'm too close. Alright, let's just let this open up a little bit. Oh, heads up. Fucking glasses are falling off my face. Oh, it's got me right now. My feet are bobbling bad. This is not a problem. Oh, damn it. All right, 
glasses are coming off. I'm just gonna have to go blind if I crash. I'm sorry. They're just slick on my face or something. I don't know. Not enjoying that. Tuck those. Let's reset. It's much better. I think I was messing with my vision there. Was, glasses were moving. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not warmed up. Just not warmed up. Damn. I did for glasses. Oh, really? I feel like something is. They're like bobbling on my face for some reason, or. I'm just making equipment excuses. No, I mean, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. You're huh? It's speaking of equipment excuses, fucking visor, you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let tire pressure out of the front. The fork's opened up all the way. That section's like... It's a little like smoother in there, though. I was still like, a, like 5% too slow. You were moving. You were dropping There's me pretty quick. There's a lot of biscuit that's like that. It's like, if you're going just that tiny bit faster, you start to be able to like gap stuff better yep. and you're doing less. Da -da -da -da. I'm doing that. Like, whoop, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing the constant speed bumps right now and yeah, it's just I'm tearing me up. Speed bumping. That's, that's terrible. That's also like a, to be honest, like a fairly like gnarly section for riding here. Oh yeah, it's one of the gnarliest. All right, well let's uh, drop this bottom here. Let's hope I feel a little better on this section than I did on the last one. Yep. So this is going to be the lower part of Bennett. Right on the edge. This is where I feel like a lot of times people can get extremely out of control. <laughs> but no matter how much this happens, this is why we love this trail because yeah. it's so easy to get out of control. Um, but this is great though. I'm like still warming up and now we have to take a break and I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, man. My arms are already yeah. feeling the juicy, like hotness in them for some reason. Yeah, I just popped outside off that route. Yeah, the, the taller back end and shorter front end is making me do this weird, like, kind of getting bucked every time I get in the air almost, you know? Like yeah, definitely. Two weight forward. So I'm having to, like, really like, what, be like. What travels on the front? Back. 160. Oh yeah, well you should, one, last really, one's 150. this is 155. It goes in like 150. It should be like 170, 180. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. keep rolling. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, just flow it out. I'm not keeping up anyways. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like being too close. I can't pick my own line. That is a, that's a rough one. There's a bunch of inside lines that really trusting it going on. Less braking. That's the only thing I'm really noticing right now is I'm doing a lot of unnecessary braking, which is not helping conserve energy, lactic acid build up, everything along those lines. Like right here, I'm leaving it open. I'm feeling fine and I'm catching up. Less braking, more trust. Uh, I feel like even the, the pros are riding, they're trusting their equipment in a way that's just, that's just wild. And if you get in a situation, it's better to try to roll through it than try to brake or change your directory. Just let off that brake and just let the bike forward momentum carry you through it. Oh, that's shattery. But yeah, I let that tire pressure out. That's helping some. I don't know. I'll tell you right now, I definitely have some arm pump. But if you guys want to see how fast we're going compared to when you guys are here, you can check out my Strava and uh, we're recording it. I love that little pocket. Just zoom through these. Right, this is my bread and butter. Like I can feel the speed just amping on this bike. 
Oh, oh still death grip in the bike. Well, I guess there's plenty of reason to death grip, but it's a waste of energy. Damn, I was gonna do this video. I think called dropped or not. And this should have been the video where Nate dropped me. So it's interesting. Usually I'm pretty on it. But Nate's gotten the better, the better run for sure. I am loving this Yeti though. This bike's been amazing. It was a great choice to get a race bike for like the gnarly stuff that we ride here. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't really bother me to pedal it at all that infinity link really uh, stands out been my last bike where like there's no switch involved you just push yo so we just wrapped up and we're up top Enjoy Nicole and High Wire. Big shout out to High Wire. Got a new job as beer rep for uh, Skyland. And yeah, thanks, High Wire. Thanks, High Wire. It's actually Chris. Hey, Chris. Thanks for the uh, the great beers. Uh, it's going to be a big month for May for High Wire. But the trail we just did, um, I forgot about talking about the Devil's Staircase or the, whatever they want to call that right there. And it, uh, it janked both of us up. And then uh, the rock drop, we just came on full speed. You hit the, the biggest part of the drop you could on accident. Just went yeah. for it. I've never done that. I'm not going to do that. That's too slow of speed for me. A little bit more momentum. Um, the restaurant was great, though. I feel like uh, yeah, it was, it was a good time. Yeah. Good time. I think uh, we'll be back to do that some more. But we're going to enjoy this great view here uh, and the rest of these beers. So uh, thanks for watching. Nate, thanks for the ride. Cheers, bud. We've actually been doing a good bit of riding together. We're right around the same speed and skill set. It really works out great. So um, stay tuned for some more rides with Nate. Because I believe if we were doing what we were talking about, the dropped or not, I believe today I got dropped. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one.